Kowalski. Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana. In this video, we're gonna be going over the meta defense, the 4-3 even 6-1 defense that has been going crazy for a lot of people in Madden. In Madden. And I I gotta tell you, it's one of the hardest defenses for me to play against. Um, this is gonna be like a sort of like a two-part series. I will drop another video showing you guys how to get a safety or a cornerback in that middle linebacker spot. You guys can actually have somebody that's you know worth worth something um as a user now granted if you guys are playing rags there are you know there are decent options if you guys are playing with the bucks you got you know devon white if you guys are playing with the seahawks still uh you've got bobby wagner that's still there you know there's 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 decent options out there for you guys to use her but for mutt a lot of people they they do a specific thing where it puts Typically, it puts the 99 overall camp chancellor at that middle linebacker spot, and it's absolutely crazy. It makes it makes it so much harder to defend. Now, personnel-wise, you guys are gonna want to have one of two things, um, and that's either edge threat or under pressure on the outside linebackers. You can substitute linemen in those spots. So, like, if you guys are playing Mutt, the Elroy Elroy Hirsch card is a very very good option because he's one of the best uh he's one of the best at playing coverage and speed wise i believe he gets up to 96 or 97 speed which is absolutely crazy for a lineman um but what those what those abilities do uh for edge threat if you guys don't know it's dominant pass rush moves coming off of the edge and it helps you guys out when you guys are blitzing the quarterback um, you get a nice little animation when you guys are running this specific formation because they're coming off of the edge by so far that it, it it's worth it. Uh, second, you want the ability under pressure. This is another thing that makes this defense so good is you have the available space to utilize your AP in other ways besides just having Acrobat on five different uh, five different five different DBs aside from your user um with you know whatever extra abilities you're trying to put on last but not least the combination of the two if you guys have it available uh edge threat elite edge threat elite is a combination of under pressure and regular edge threat it just makes it just makes your edge threat way better uh so it'll it's it makes your edge threat way better for i believe one one less ap as well because yeah regular edge threat is two ap under pressure is two ap and then edge threat elite which is a combination of the two is three ap on you know power rush or speed rush linemen and uh power rush and outside uh linebackers as well so right now we've got michael parsons in this specific lineup and leighton vander esch as the as the <clears throat> as our middle linebacker now this scheme this this uh this defense is very simple are you gonna want to do is you eat you come out and there's two different plays as well you come out and sam might sam blitz three excuse me three sam blitz three uh you got the tampa two and then you got the cover four quarters now the reason why people come out and cover four quarters is because of the match the matching principles especially when you're facing a uh a compressed set it matches and it guards corner routes when you're running this specific play it's very very hard to stop it's very hard to very hard to make reads against this because like the blitz comes in so fast that it frustrates your opponent to the point where a lot of the times we make a mistake so let's just get into it real quick and i believe i posted a video on this blitz specifically um but we're just going to come out in this with the post wheel drag i guess and we're going to come out in sand blitz three now if you guys are facing some type of escape artist the reason why this blitz is still so very dangerous and you don't want to do anything, by the way. You, you don't want to do anything besides hover kind of closer to where the running back is blocking. That's literally it. You're 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 sending everybody. Um, but the reason why this is such a dangerous thing to run um, is because you can put these guys out on their respective curl flats while sending the blitz that you're sending. Okay. Now, right now, I'm not I'm I'm, I'm not going to send the blitz. I'm sending the six people. The six people version which means that the blitz is going to come in very very fast and it's going to be very disruptive and very annoying for your opponent this this is this is going to be more of a full scheme instead of just sending the blitz out so a lot of the times when you got people that are running this 
they're sitting there and they're they're running the blitz they're running but as you can see double edge pressure coming in absolutely crazy now where the abilities come into play and right now we only have the the ability on michael parsons is you got a lot of people that do this when they when they run this is instead of sending pressure they send four people and then put those linemen in in zones or they made them up to the running back or the tight end or somebody close by and what that what that leads to is somebody like Micah Parsons doing that and that's why those edge threats come in handy is because nobody playing mutt or or nobody playing rags is sitting there utilizing edge protectors because there aren't many there aren't that many abilities in regular team and then in Madden Ultimate Team most people are using post ups not edge protectors where where you're be, you're going to be able to slow down something like this. Look at Micah Parsons and how crazy he goes here. Completely just sideswipes him and then free lane straight to the quarterback. Now the reason why this is such an important thing and why this works so well is because if you guys have your your curl flat set down, you don't need to contain either. So you don't have to contain this and slow down any any type of uh, escape artist quarterback because those contained those curl flats are gonna, are gonna go out and you're gonna be able to get that you know that pressure by sending three four people and then the next play you're gonna be able to sit there and send six you know shade everything underneath and then get pressure like this where you're, you're getting you're getting pressure off of both both sides now granted I'm not blocking anybody but this is the situation that happens when you're running something like this now again if you guys are running the the cover three blitzing all the linebackers and now you have that you have that outside flat that's on the right side that's wide open so if you want to cover that you put the line in there and so i'm going to go over personnel just a little bit because a lot of people get confused as to how you run this or what you run with this this is not a regular game mode defense you don't run you don't run this on regs because there's no team that has good enough linemen or fast enough linemen where you can put them on the outside and then good enough linebackers to where you can put them so you can put them at that outside outside lineman spot where they're going to be able to play coverage as well as be able to stuff anything that's coming you know underneath so personnel wise this is mainly a mutt defense but if you guys are looking to run this in regs it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you know the 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 fantasy mode of Madden Ultimate Team is what is what allows this this specific defense to run to be as good as it is. So again, we got everybody coming in, screaming in, and the pressure goes absolutely nuts there. Oh, for the blitz, you either crash up or crash down, and you're you're good to go. You take your user, you hover where the linebacker is. Blitz all linebackers, you crash it down, crash down or crash up, and that's literally it. And you're gonna get crazy pressure, as you can see. There's three people coming in there, almost untouched. <coughs> so three people coming in almost untouched means that no matter if they block the running back, you're gonna get pressure. Pressure bust pipes, and this is exactly what you want out of a defense. And then after that, you can you can audible to this quarters. Do the same thing but this time we're sending we're sending everybody except for the outside lineman and then once that happens michael parsons is eventually going to end up getting that shed while our defense is pretty much locked down very very difficult defense to actually come across to face to play very very hard now i'm just going to go over a the, the the cover two version of it and how some people like to run their cover too. Now, granted, if you have your zone drop set, um, one of the one of the techniques that people run when they run this specific defense doesn't work. But if you don't have your zone drop set and they are in a compressed set, you can take this guy here. You can take this guy here, put him in a soft squat. Okay, take this guy here, put him in an inside quarter, and these guys will match up on these zones. They'll match up on these weird little routes and there's nothing that there's almost nothing that your defender is going to be able to do. 
you're gonna be using whatever's inside and everything else is gonna be almost clamped up. You're gonna have to take away one or two reads with your user. Obviously anything that's underneath, you're gonna have to take that away, but everything else will end up being clamp clamped up. Like right there, in this instance, I'm going down to shade where the running back is because obviously he, they sent everybody out the block. Now, if they're blocking everybody, let's block everybody and just have the three routes out. We're gonna do the same exact the same exact coverage where we have soft squats and deep zones. Oh, I actually contained. I have a problem with uh, always containing. And let's let's see the type of pressure that that we get. Even there, there's no time for anything to open up. Even with a skate artist, even it doesn't matter the situation. With a skate artist, that's when you're gonna end up going ahead and containing sometimes. So obviously your guy ends up getting that shed further towards the outside and you might be able to you know you you have a potential chance to actually stop them but a lot of the times when someone that is in this defense is facing someone with escape artists they're putting these guys out on their curl flats while sending while sending their linebackers no contains because they have their edge threats going crazy but they're sending those guys out on their curl flats while they're sending their linebackers so that michael parsons or whoever it is that has edge threat can end up getting that insta shed they're, they're allowed to go crazy at, the, at, at that point. You can also spread your sp spread your D-line. Uh, you can spread your linebackers as well. Um, anything to kind of help that edge threat kind of get that, you know, kind of get that extra pressure. So again, the further out your edge threats are, the more likely they are to actually animate on, you know, with with their ability. As you can see right now, M Michael Parsons is, is activated, so he's gonna he's gonna get the shed regardless. But this is typical. This is the base way to run this defense. Now, obviously. You make your adjustments at you know according according to what your opponent is doing um and then you choose a big tall user for your middle linebacker and you call it a day the next video that i drop on this i will show you guys how to get a safety or a db in that middle linebacker spot it is a big hassle but i will show it to you guys just so you guys know you know just so you guys have that knowledge if you guys want to utilize that in your in your defense this is the meta defense for for madden ultimate team right now for regs it's not so much because of the personnel and you know not 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 every team has 99 players all over it but for madden ultimate team this is definitely the defense that you guys are going to want to be using especially with the ap update set that they keep dropping it's just helping this defense out more because you're you're able to utilize more under pressures uh an extra edge threat uh more zone ko's so that you know if they if people are trying to make a quick read your safety is going to be able to sit there and knock that ball out so if you guys haven't already there's a reason why this is the meta and there's a reason why i'm showing you because you know the meta is what's going to make you great at madden and if you guys are slacking that's where we're at i know it's a i know we're you know nearing the end of the year and, and stuff but there's still a lot of people that want to get better at madden and that's what i'm here for so if you guys are new Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. My name is Pony Montana, and as always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.